Hello everyone and welcome to Animal Kingdom. We don't really have a plan for today. It's now been over a week since the 50th anniversary. We're just gonna maybe ride on some rides and see what's new in the gift shop. A lot of people are exiting the park, but I will be walking in the park. An egret is just hanging out over here. Oh, hello, egret. Enjoying the hot sun today. Kilimanjaro Safari is a walk on. It is a five minute wait. We're going on. If you would like to do something more to help us with conservation, talk to one of the villagers in Hanabi. White is pink of the flamingos as well, a bit more of a pastel coloration to their feathers. However, they do still get that pink color from eating brine shrimp. Beyond the, the flamingos here off to the left, uh, keep an eye out for any other elephants up in the distance too by a term I know. Oh, and of course the bullies and zebras. Hartman's mountain zebras. So Hartman's mountain zebras will have a dual lap. It's the extra skin that hangs down from their neck right behind their jaw. It's a really nice easy. So gonna be a couple different subspecies of antelope up ahead of us here. Some tall sandy colored antelope called greater kudu. They are the second tallest antelope on the reserve. They get around five feet tall at the shoulder. And the ones we're going to see here today seem to be females. The males of their species can sometimes grow horns like trying to stay cool. That's why they're a bit more nocturnal. They do most of their grazing out of the water at night. Sometimes up to five miles away from their favorite spot just looking for food. They eat about 80 pounds of food at night. Yeah, there's one, but hopefully we'll find a few more. They can hold their breath up to eight minutes or so. They're not very buoyant, they don't float too terribly much. That's why you oftentimes will see them walking and trotting along the bottom of the river, more so than swimming through the water. There's the baby right there. That little baby is probably born around 80 pounds. Would have been in mom's belly around eight months before they were born. And then female hippos will be sometimes about 4,000 pounds. Males are up on our left. by the Watusi tribe, which is why they're also called Watusi cattle. Depending on the region you live in, that's a bit more of a common name. Their horns are about six feet long. That's an average for both the males and the females of the bulls and cows. Not too heavy though, they are slightly hollow inside with a honeycomb structure, kind of like a beehive in shape, and a lot of blood vessels. So on hot days, their blood will pump all the way to the top of their horns to help them cool off. And off to our left hand side, I see a little baby within their group coming up on the left, laying down, so keep an eye out for him. Stay in their mom's bellies around 14 oh, months I before they're born. <laughs> then they're usually born around six that's, feet tall. So just for a little reference, that's wherever that's you're resting your elbow here on the truck, that's about six feet up from the ground, or the height of a newborn baby that's giraffe. That's These are all Maasai giraffes. So Maasai giraffes have very jagged and irregular patches. They do originate from eastern parts of Africa. Where for them will be called a tower. Their ears are quite a bit larger than the Asian elephants. This could be because they're a bit of a larger animal. Their ours ears are the easier it is for them to stay cool. Notice they're being really active with them. That constant airflow and increasing blood flow will cool them up by 15 degrees, thanks to those big ears. Now another indication, sometimes their ears do look like the continent of Africa in shape. It's going to be a bit more of a common shape. Pretty tough, they can run about 45 miles per hour. 
they have a cake strong enough to break bone as well. So no, we're going to have a dazzle. Groups are called dazzles. And their dazzles usually consist of about Well, that was a great ride. I love Kilimanjaro safaris. It's my favorite ride here at Animal Kingdom. Here are some new pin arrivals at Animal Kingdom. They have fairly departed Haunted Mansion set. They also have these Alice in Wonderland limited edition pocket watch set. They are $20 each. I also never noticed this new Marvel's Eternals pin set. It is $59.99. It's limited edition. That's really, really cool. They have the new Stitch Crashes Jungle Book plush. It is $29.99. And they have the new Stitch Crashes Jungle Book Magic Band for $39.99. They also have a few of the Sketchbook Christmas ornaments. You can find all that stuff here in the Riverside Depot. On January 4th, 2022, Everest is gonna be going under refurbishment up until mid-April. And like always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video down below.